All right, Ron and Fez show. Earl, you got any more rock people uh, lined up for us? Uh, uh, we're all rocked out. You sure? Positive. Nobody who, uh, I don't know, had amplifier cases for Grand Funk? No, not at all. You sure? Positive. Okay. Ronnie, I have my Friday Fezzatorial ready. We still doing it? Yes, we still do the Friday Fezzatorial. All right. Well, well, well. Razzle Dazzle. It's Board Gossip with Eastside Dave. Uh, Looks yeah. like it's time for another Fezzatorial. Uh, and uh, now, stop it right what? now. What are you talking? <laughs> That's the Board Gossip intro. And, I and there's a... a guy named Bobo and something and... <laughs> I wow, do the it's fesitorial. so easy to do, isn't it? No, it's not easy to do. But it just seems like even Dave could do it. Dave could never do this. And yet he does. He could somehow come up with some board rumors that I think he's making up. Yeah, that might be the end of board gossip. It just really limped in today. It literally was moving like a fesitorial today. It was so slow. All right, the fesitorial moves at lightning speed, and it's quick and it's witty. Same thing, though. Same and, jokes. And it's to the point. Week after week. Not always the same jokes. Same pattern, same... Well, there's a format to everything, sure. Bobo, my mother, Bruce Park, Florida. You're not leaving anything for the listeners now. They all know it. <laughs> I can't... Razzle Dazzle. It's bored gossip. You're ruining the fesitorial. Oh, sorry. I do it the right way. All right. Danny DeVito, Michael Richards, the drunk, the racist, and the fesitorial. Ron, I can do it myself. Well, well, well. Would you turn off the gossip music? Sorry. Well, well, well. In the span of a week, Danny DeVito and Michael Richards have both embarrassed themselves in public. And... Ronnie, I can't do it with the board gossip song going. Go ahead. And I haven't seen two people this humiliated since Kid Rock and Pam Anderson had to start giving back the wedding gifts. I hope everyone saved their receipts. But what really gives me the jimmy legs is wondering, is one of these people worse than the other? Danny DeVito or Michael Richards? Who's the better person? Let's compare. First, their history. Danny DeVito and Michael Richards have given us two of the most memorable characters in television. DeVito's Louis De Palma on Taxi, and Michael Richards' character, Vic Nardoza, the bumbling P.I. from the short-lived Michael Richards show. All right, advantage, DeVito. Now, sure, Michael Richards offended Jesse Jackson with his racist tirade, but Danny DeVito and his drunken hijinks scared America's great-great-great-great-grandmother, Barbara Walters. That one goes to Kramer. Both used the N-word. In DeVito's case, it was numbnuts. In terms of offensiveness, let's just call that one a draw. Michael Richards is taller. That's one for him. Kramer went on Letterman to apologize in public. Yeah, that really worked. It should have been part of the Will It Float segment on Letterman. It didn't. That's one for Danny. Michael Richards blamed rage for his outburst. Boring! Danny DeVito blamed People's Magazine's sexiest man alive, George Clooney. Okay, now it looks like DeVito's running away with this thing. I'm no Clooney fan, but anytime you can name drop, it's an advantage. But you know, this whole thing reminds me of growing up in... Pinellas Park, Florida! I can do it, Ron. Where Drunken Racist is also the name of our top law firm. But it was there that I remember Mother in a similar situation with our handyman and local leader for both AA and the KKK, Bobo. Mother was worried about Bobo hitting the bottle too hard again. I heard them in her bedroom. She was telling him, not so hard, not so hard. And then she was worried that the bottle was going to break and he could use a smaller one. Wait, Wait a, a minute. minute. Great. Bobo wasn't drinking out of the bottle. He was using it to become Florida's version of Fatty Arbuckle. Just perfect. Uh, anywho. Ron. What's worse, alcoholism or intolerance? Not all of us are like Mel Gibson and are able to balance the two so easily. Mel, by the way, defended Kramer, whereas Danny DeVito has got daytime's favorite plus-size muncher, Rosie O'Donnell, on his side. Sorry, Kramer. Funny lesbian trumps Oscar-winning anti-Semite every time. It's no contest. 
But maybe next time these guys have too much to drink or have had too many blacks to hate, they can blurt out something more unifying, something more helpful, something like, We're here, we're, we're queer, we will not disappear. This is my best toil. Thank you. Ron, I can finish that myself. Thank you. And that was my fezzatorial. Is that the same one you did last week? No. I wonder why it sounds so familiar. Because oh, I reminisce through it. Yeah, about last week? No, not about last week, about growing up in Pineapple Park, Park, Florida. Florida. Ray, you're on running Fez. Yeah, I'm getting a little tired of these catty moments with Fez. Yeah. They are kind of catty, Fez. That wasn't a catty moment. That was a Fezzatorial. There's a big difference. Chris, you're on running Fez. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, I love him. He's cool as Fonzie, and he's he's one of the better, you know, new co-hosts rather than the old guy. But I got to tell you, that, that uh, big editorial was just not as good, man. It sounded kind of gay. Yeah. It was not a big aatorial. You will never get a big aatorial on this show. Big A! Big A! Big A! Big A! Big A! Big A! Just dumb. Y'all realize how dumb you are? Big A? Big A? Gay? Big A. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Jason, you're running Fez. Hey, what's going on, guys? I just wanted to say, Fez, that was a great LeBron James mother impression. You sounded just like Le uh, Le James Brown's mother. That makes LeBron James's mother. And LeBron James is James's mother. <laughs> makes no sense. I've, I imitated LeBron James's mother once on this program. Once. Uh, Earl, let me hear Dave's new uh, song. Let me rock to Dave's new song a little bit. Big A, big A, big A, big A. I love that song. You know who I miss right now? Who's big A. Big A. Big A. He's a big A. I don't miss him. I wish he was here right now. I wish he would start talking to us. Big A. Big A. Big A, you're on the line. Hey, Ryan. Hey. hey uh, big A! Big A! Oh, he's a big A! Oh, oh, no. How are you, buddy? Hey, I'm doing I'm doing great. Actually, I was going to come up, but I was too... I felt it was... Uh, I was too cold to come up, and I, I saw the bad vibe with Fezzy. That's why I didn't come up today. Oh, oh. big A. All because of, all because of Fezzy, that's why. All because oh. of Fez. Oh, I didn't keep you from coming up here. Big A, you know you're always welcome. Oh, yeah, and also I have a little razzle dazzle with myself. Oh, what was that? Oh. Uh, What's your uh, gossip? Actually, I have a, a new girlfriend. Uh, um... I think she was on the program a little earlier. Jamie is your girlfriend? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and do you love her? Um, yes, I, yes, I do. And also, I want to tell Dave, keep away from Jamie, please. Yeah, I will <laughs> definitely tell him that. Right. Yeah. All right, let's try to bring Jamie back in here and uh, do a little love connection between the two lovebirds who are in love. <laughs> hey, Jamie. Hey. Yeah, guess wow. who it is? Big A! Big A! Big A! Ah. Uh, she's here, Big A. Did you have something you want to say to her? Big A? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Um, I'll let the um, sweet talking begin. <laughs> I, um, actually, I wanted to tell everybody um, uh, how much I love Jamie. Uh, that's so sweet. That is so good that you're able to say that, too. Because I've always been nervous about saying that kind of thing in, in public. 
You're the coolest, Big A. The coolest. And also, this isn't like, um, you know, a dawn at Fez. This is real. This is know? real, not like Fez's lies. <laughs> oh, Big A. Big A. Way to put him in his place, Big A. Big A. Once again, you come out on top. Hey, Big A, I had some mail for you. Do you mind uh, doing uh, Big A's advice column? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, 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 I apologize. I haven't answered it by mail, but I'll definitely do it tonight. I, I know. Promise. There's been so much of it. Here, here's a question for you. Uh, dear Big A, you are the coolest. The coolest, Daddy-O. Big A, could you help me? Should I sweat the small stuff? And by the way, isn't it all the small stuff? Oh, interesting. Mm. That's interesting. Big A, should he worry about the little things in life? No, should never sweat the small um, stuff in life. Big A! That's the advice? Big A! It's the exact opposite of what Fez would have said, where you always say worry about everything. I can't believe this is the advice we're getting. Yeah. Don't sweat the small stuff. I love it. Don't. And P.S. Fez, it's all small stuff. Big A. Big A. Big A. Big A. Big A. Not even saying Big A now. And Fez, did you have any questions you need Big A to help you with? I don't need any help from Big A. You could end up like Big A with your own real girlfriend, rather than the way you live your life in a lie. I do not want to go through my life like Big A. I have no ambition to do that. Oh, no, another... Why not? The... Oh, Ooh, Big A! A! Big A! Boom! Face! Face! face. That's not a comeback! Look who just got face. Big A! I got, a, uh, I got another uh, question for you here. This came in. Dear right. Big A, my fezzatorial has gotten old and stale. I'm rerunning jokes. What should I do, Big A? What should I do? Thank you. Actually, I think you should make it a big A tutorial. Whoa! <laughs> a big A! The big A! Big A! That's, big a. that's not a real letter, and that's big not a real answer. Big A! Big A! Stop it, all of you. You're insane. Big A. You're all insane. He is so cool. I'm telling you, Fez, it's always the same jokes. I'm telling you, I was driving around. I was so asleep. Uh, the Fez tutorial was so boring. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put you to sleep, Big A, is what's going to happen. I'm going to take you back to the pound. Face. Face. Okay. That's not a face. It's true. People do fall asleep during your segments. Do not. Yeah. Everyone's wide awake. Um. All right, here's a joke. Uh, hi, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Who's this? Uh, this is Ben from Bell Talk. Yeah, go ahead, Ben. Hey, I got a knock-knock joke for you, boys. Knock-knock. Who there? Big A! Big A! Big A, knock it. Big A who? Knock them. Big A! Huh? Big A! Big A, you know Big A. That's a great joke. I got another knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Big A! Big A! Big A who? You know, Big A. He's the coolest, daddy-o. He likes knocking. Yeah. Uh, here's uh, Dave. Dave, you're on uh, with Ron and Big A. Fez. And hey. Fez. Yeah. Hey, guys. How you doing? Fez, I got a riddle for you. Uh. How, how do your Canadian relatives say something's large? I have no idea. Big A. Eh? Big A! Big A! Great joke, Fez. You used that on him. I am not going to tell that riddle to my Canadian relatives in Newfoundland. But don't they always say A? Yeah, they say that a lot. Big A. Big A. Big A. Big A. Big A, what are you planning this weekend? Uh, actually, yeah, I have a lot of plans uh, uh, this weekend. Uh, um, uh, me and Jamie are going to hit Caroline's on Saturday and... and uh, Atlantic City on Sunday. Atlantic City on Sunday. Wow, you're Woo! a jet setter. Right, Atlantic City, Atlantic City. At least the bus setter. I bet. <laughs> I bet Big A, uh, his uh, bed is actually like a big champagne glass that you can sleep inside. <laughs> I bet it's just the coolest. 
That bachelor pad. <laughs> Bet he wouldn't be able to get in it. What do you sleep in, Fez? An old mattress? No, I sleep in a bed. A queen size bed. Oh, I'm sorry. A queen size bed? Oh! <laughs> Big aid, you! Face! Big face! Big aid! It's not a face. It's queen just size! Big it's the Big size of a bed! Yeah, like you're an old queen. Queen, big A. Queen, queen. Big a. Hello, it's big A. This is the queen. So uh, stupid. Stupid but cool. Rick, you're in running Fez. Hey, boys, top of the morning. Top of the morning to you, sir. Hey, Fez. Yeah, buddy. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why did the chicken cross the road? Did can stand next to big A. Big A! Oh, big A. Big A, cluck, cluck, big A, cluck, big A, cluck, chicken, big A. That's a good one. That's a see? bad one. Wait, what do you see what, Eddie, uh, what, what Dave does now? Big cluck, big A, cluck, cluck, big A, big A, big A, big A, big A, big A. Sometimes when I really like him, I call him Eddie. <laughs> Someone you really like. That's my nickname for him, Eddie. But big A. Just because you have red hair doesn't mean you should imitate roosters. I don't get it. Chicken. Why can't you be nice to the little people like Big A is? I saw him holding a court out on the street today. People gathered around him. Big A, you always have uh, time for the little people. Uh, of course. I was hanging around all the people of FBA. Oh, that's so cool. FBA! FBA! Dumb. He is so cool. And I could care less about that FBA poll that's going hey! on. I thought you said Big A. No, I didn't. Oh. Uh, here's uh, Black Rob. Black Rob, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, how you doing? Ronnie, uh, Frezzy. Big A, I, I got to some advice, buddy. I'm trying to uh, quit my job. Should I clear his desk or should I just give it a two-week notice, buddy? I need some help. What should he do? It's time for him to leave his job, Big A. This is a tough one. Um... <laughs> He should, he should keep, keep his job. Uh, he shouldn't quit it before the holidays. He should keep his job. Big A! Great advice. Uh, keep the job. Big A. Pay the bills, Big A. Pay the bills. Don't be irresponsible, Big A. Maybe buy yourself a chicken. Dumb advice. A big A. Big A. Chicken bills. Big A. Because a chicken has a bill. And has a beak. Huh? <laughs> Hector! Hector, you're on uh, Ron and Friends. How are you? Hey, I got a good <laughs> Ron and Fez! I want to kind of make it so people think Big A could be here any time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, all right, Big A walks into a bar. The bartender says, Big A! Big A! These jokes aren't even making any sense anymore. You didn't get the, you didn't get the punchline? No. Big A! Big A! I don't get it. Uh, here's Brent. You're on uh, Ron and Pals. And Fez. Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah. You guys there? Yeah. Okay. Hey, I just wanted to say uh, hip, hip, Big A! Big A! Big A! Big A! Hip, hip, Big A! Big A! Big A! I'm not cheering. I'm not. De I'm not being any part of this. Just give me three for Big A. No. Three cheers for Big A. I am not giving you three cheers for Big A. Hip hip Big A. Hip hip Big A. Hip hip Big A. Everyone loves him. Yeah. Celebration. Hip about it. Cel celebration, Big A. Was that the chicken, Eddie? <laughs> Was that Eddie the chicken? No, that's Dave. <laughs> it's like the world's going nuts around me. What don't you like? I don't like all this uh, adoration for Big A. I don't see where it's warranted. Hey, we're excited. There's a new kid in town. I don't want to hear it. There's a new kid in town. I don't want to hear it. Brian, you're on Run Fez. Hey, first, Dave, I want to thank you for bringing back Spyglass from Saturday Live. I mean, board gossip. Hey, I need oh, your yeah. help, Fez. Big A. Yeah, Big A. If I had to describe the Eiffel Tower only using letters, how would you describe it? Hmm. What does it look like to you, the Eiffel Tower? You can only use a letter. Yeah, uh, using only letters? Yeah. It lo looks like a big A. Big, big A! a! What? <laughs> he fell for it. 
for it, big guy. <laughs> Bring her and fell for it. Big guy, everybody's loving on you. Yeah, too much. What's going on? Big guy. Oh, uh, hey, Ronnie, is there any chance you can change the name of the show? You want it at Big A show? Big, Big A! a! No. I, I would be willing to change the name of the show to Big A and Ron. <laughs> that is not happening. Keep dreaming, Big A. Yeah, there's a nice ring to it, Big A. <laughs> Big A and Ron, Big A. And Eddie. With Eddie at all times. <laughs> Big A and Ron. Dave. Boy, you're, you're already... You're already nope. in a drinking mood, aren't you? <laughs> no. You're already oh God, thinking no, please, no. about the first drink, aren't you? Oh, that. We're under an hour until his Friday begins. Uh, Big A, when you're taking your girlfriend Jamie to Atlantic City this weekend, mm. uh, what's your plans? How do you plan that perfect romantic date Craps. by the seashore? Crap? Oh, uh, 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 I plan uh, uh, nothing but the best for Jamie. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. What do you give your girlfriend? Nothing but the worst, Fez? I, uh, I give the best. I give the best to everybody. And it's not because I'm following Big A's advice. Uh, let me go over here. Uh, let, let me go to Jason. Jason, you're on running Fez. Hey, I got a knock-knock for Fez. Oh, cool. Knock-knock. <laughs> oh, not you, Fez. Knock-knock. <laughs> Who's there? Fez. Fez who? Exactly. Oh! oh space. I don't get it. Fuzzy, you answer a knock-knock joke by saying knock-knock <laughs> yourself? Maybe that's not the right format. Knock-knock, he's saying. He didn't have anything afterwards. Rob B., you're on running Fuzz. Uh, Fez, do you know that Big A's up for the uh, lead part in the sequel, V for Vendetta? It's called V for Vendetta. Hey! Uh, here's uh, Tony. Yeah. Tony, you're on Ronnie Fez. Ronnie! Yes, Tony. Big hey, Guys, you're to tell me you're on the show to put up the king crab legs for you and Ronnie to eat. Wow! Oh. Could you imagine oh, me yeah. and my partner eating king crab? King crab legs. Living like kings that. ourselves. <laughs> You don't need him. You don't need Big A. It's better than sitting around in the old days. I used to be with Fezzy splitting a power, uh, fucking power bar like a couple of ham and eggers. <laughs> the old days? That was today. <laughs> I know. I hated it. So dry. Big Just A the... on the other side. It's uh, King Crab Legs. It's Atlantic City. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. You can dream bigger. Hey, Fez, did you check out the bad data? This is Big A and Ron. Oh! Fix that. Face, face. Fix that pad data. Get it back to Ron and Fez. He gets you every time. He doesn't get me. He owns you. Hardly. Well, Big A owned. What's that, Eddie? Big A owned. <laughs> hey, Justin, you're Ron and Fez. Hey, uh, worn out bit card holder 56B. All right, brother, what's happening? Uh... Hoo uh, I got a pretty good uh, aristocrat joke for you. Oh, good. I'd love to hear it. Uh, the family goes into uh, the producer's office, and uh, they start into their skit and make a long story short, insert whatever Fez does on the weekend. And he goes, that's a wonderful bit. What do you call it? Big A! Big, Big A! Big lame attempt. Why are you so grouchy? I am not grouchy. I'm just being driven insane completely by all this adoration for Big A. Uh, Big O, you're on Ronnie Fez. How are you? What's up, Ronnie? Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, uh, I was curious. Instead of getting a Fred, could I could I get a bread and have Big A sign it? <laughs> It'll be bread. <laughs> Where he gets two? <laughs> yes. He's going to get two. Either that, we can just start doing Frida. <laughs> Yes. You know, we, we throw the A on the end. No, we're not throwing the A on the end. It's Fred. Put it on the uh, beginning and make it A-Fred. We're not doing A-Fred. <laughs> Recommendations. A-Fred, big A. Get rid of Fez and it's A-Red. No, we're not getting rid of Fez. And then we play Simply Red every time we're ready to do that part of it. It's all bad ideas. Yeah. Oh, big A, another uh, letter for you. All right. Dear big A. Thank you for replacing Fez. Things aren't going too well for me this Christmas. I'm a lonely guy. 
Should I just end it all? Sign FW. Is that supposed to be my initials? You tell me. I didn't write this. What should he do? He should end it all. I mean, if he can't be cool, he's nothing to live for. Okay. What kind of advice is that telling someone to kill themselves? Well, you got to put cool before life, daddy Oh. You want to be ashamed of yourself, Big A. Sounds like you live in Squaresville, Fezzarino. I do not live in Squaresville. I live in Roosevelt Island, New York. Ah! <laughs> what? Face, what? Face, face, Very face. affordable. Yeah, I guess. All right, Big A, we got to be getting going, buddy. But thanks a lot for uh, calling us. We wish you would have stopped by today. Well, I wanted to call to see if program was a little cooler. Thank you very much. It has gotten a lot cooler. Oh, mission accomplished, Fabio. Uh, here's Matt. Matt, you're around Fabio. Fez. Hey, Ron. Hey, Big A. Yeah. Fez. Uh, hey, Ron, you know how cool, you know that Big A is the coolest daddy You can tell because when he comes to dinner, a couple days earlier, he sends a centerpiece to the table. He that is crazy. cool. I do that, not Big A. I wanted to thank you for that centerpiece, Big A. It was very thoughtful. Yeah, he didn't send you squat. Yeah. And I hope you enjoy your weekend with your girlfriend at, at Caroline's and then off to beautiful Resorts International Hotel. Big A, Atlantic City, for Big A. <laughs> That's what I call it, Big A City. <laughs> Big A C. Eddie, you and I ought to do a getaway weekend sometime. Sure. His name's Dave. It's Eastside Dave. Huh? <laughs> it's Big A. You know Eddie. your name. And start speaking English again. Big Eddie! <laughs> <laughs> Fuzzy, why can't you just join in with us? I will never be part of this. You will not get me to be part of this. You're never going to move to Cool Town. I'd rather stay where I am because I don't see this as being the Cool Town city limits, cheering on Big A every two seconds. Maybe you can find yourself a girlfriend. You'd be off the fabulous Carolines and then down to Atlantic City. I got plenty to do. I don't need to go to Caroline's in Atlantic City. And they may even stop and uh, shop at one of the uh, rest areas on the way. <laughs> Who knows what this weekend will bring. All right, Big A, you stay cool, Daddy-O. All right, take care. Fine, right, take care. Take care, Jamie. Whoa! Whoa. Robert, it's Big A. Sparks. All right, take care. Take care. Bye. There he goes. Pal Talk brings more love. This pal talk is full with love. Dave, you got your pal talk hooked up yet? Just got it hooked up last night. Yeah? I'll be. I'll probably be on tonight. Have you bit. been jacking on it yet? Not yet. No, uh, that's not what I heard. Oh, uh, well. You heard that he already has been? Well, I've used it for jacking, but I haven't caught, been caught, no. I'm, you you honestly jacked on... I've seen some pictures of females. It's hard not to. It's, I feel it's very intimate, you know? And you let them see you? No, I turn the camera away. <laughs> and they, they just see my kitchen. <laughs> You're in the kitchen, Jack? Any, that's hot. <laughs> anytime you see that fucking rundown kitchen of his, you know that he's in trouble. What's this, uh, Eddie? Uh, those are some pictures that I saw on the internet but with via pal talk of HTG. And so that was some of uh, us spanking. I'm not going to lie and say Jamie didn't make make it. Uh, uh, flight benefits. Really? And I'm not going to lie and say Casey Elon didn't make it either. So these are the gals of uh, pal talk? Yeah. This is the Jack calendar you're putting together? It's what did you do to these pictures? It's great for spanking. <laughs> Careful, that's been in his kitchen. <laughs> oh. You got Paris and baby girl? Happy just, typing girl? Imagine how filthy it would be if you turned it on and you just saw his kitchen knowing <laughs> that as you're looking at it, old bacon grease <laughs> he's on the other side of the camera. Filthy frying pan, and he's got a jar of jelly out of the refrigerator. Oh, my God, he's turned his camera. <laughs> we know what the beast is doing. <laughs> Uh, Rick, Rick, you're on Fez. Hey, Ron, uh, I'm just calling to tell you, I don't think it's right that you keep picking on your new intern there, uh, uh Fez or whatever his name is. Fe you know, it's going to be hard to get intern. Yeah. I am not an intern. I'll tell you this, you know what I'm giving you for your internship? What? Big A! Big A! You should be happy with that. Man. Well, I appreciate good grades. Yeah. I'm not going along with that Big A stuff. How did you do in college? I did really well in college. Yeah. Yeah, I got all A's and B's. Uh, what school did you go to? I went to the University of West Florida in Pensacola, <laughs> Florida. What's what's so funny? 
Isn't that the same place Jethro Bodine picked up his degrees? <laughs> no. For the Gazintas? That's not where he got his sixth grade education. Uh, Dan, Dan, you're on Fez. Hey, buddies. Yeah. Uh, America's the only country to drop the big A bomb. The big A. Big A. Big A. Big A. Big A. Oh, Eddie. Big A. Big A. I'm still alive, Big A. Hey, you're a survivor. Big A. Let's see if you can get a laugh before you get out of your bed. <laughs> Try to re recreate. No, I want to see how long you have to go before you honestly get a laugh. From other than yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I made it out. I'm doing okay. Did you say I pointed that? No. Mm, you missed it. I need someone to share moments with. So when I just give the head point, they get me. <laughs> Let's just say uh, where the pizza always goes. Where the leftover pizza is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're on my Hello? fence. Yeah, what can we do? Hey, I'm a you? member of the Watley Posse. The what? A member of the Watley Posse. You know what Big A stands for? The A and Big A stands for? Is this, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sounds like it. Pitsy, this is your nemesis? <laughs> he got past you? After yesterday, Pitsy, he went in a, and uh, insulted our guest. As a fucking first caller, by the way. Yeah, I let one slip past the goalie yesterday. And, and, the, and today the radio shark gets through. As Leah, thinking it's a woman. <laughs> Shark. You know what the A stands for in Big A? Shark, is this your day to be funny? This ain't the Shark. This is Jimmy. Oh, hey, Jimmy. What's the Big hey, A stand up? for? It stands for asshole. Defend yourself, Bez. <laughs> there goes the radio, Shark. 32 years of calling radio stations, still not a laugh yet. Nothing. And don't let him show up at that Christmas party with a mask on standing next to me. He stood next to me with a mask on at the Halloween party, and uh, somebody came up and told me right away, that's Radio Shark. So I never looked at him. I just had him stand there <laughs> in a hot mask for three hours. <laughs> just hoping someone would look. Kyle, you're on my Fez. Hey there. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to mention how much I appreciate that uh, Big A actually laughs at Ron's jokes. I know. Unlike Fez, he acts like he never gets me. I know. I don't. I don't think that's very appropriate at all. Yeah, but Big A, he supports me. I support you. Always. Eddie doesn't think so. That's not Eddie. That's Eastside Dave. Big A, very supportive. Mm -hmm. Fez, wishy washy. Eastside Dave, who by the way has his hair on the line this weekend. Mm. Rutgers at West Virginia. Yeah, that's true. I'm you going to be the bald-headed pal talker <laughs> on Monday? He very well could happen. He totally is. West Virginia's favored by 10. It's time to bring him down. New Brunswick, baby. Jersey all the way. I noticed as soon as you got on that bandwagon, the wagon's wheels came off. Yeah. <laughs> they fucking, fucking suck. jinx. Yep. You are a filthy uh, jinx. Mongo, you're on running Fez. Hey, I wanted to ask Fez, uh, if I wanted to, to describe... Uh, Jennifer Lopez's ass and be FCC friendly. How can I do that? Well, you'd have to be careful because you couldn't say ass. You would probably have to say it's a big A. Big A! What? Glad to see you've joined, Fuzzy. I have not joined. I'm just talking about J-Lo's Heine. Why don't we... Uh, hey, you don't need to work blow. Seriously. I don't need that language out of you. Well, that's why I said big A. Uh, big, big A! A! Uh, why don't you do this? Why don't you go to AC this weekend? Why don't you be a third wheel? You can climb in the back of the Lamborghini Countach <laughs> with Big A and Jamie, and off you go. What am I going to do in Atlantic City with Big A and Jamie? Everything. It's going to be a mad weekend. We could finish the poll, get true scores. I'll go on a date with you. I'll go on a date with B Big A. And All right, let's do that. Let's see who is the better, the better a date. date. You take her out for a date. Right. One of your dull... Uh, Lower East Side. Psst. Hey, pal, can I go down on your dates? <laughs> and then let Big A give her the classy date of Caroline's and Atlantic City. I am not gonna go. I am not gonna compete with Big A. This is ridiculous. Why not? I shouldn't you're have to. You're afraid you're gonna lose. I wouldn't lose. I know I wouldn't lose. Hmm. Why don't you do this? You go out with Jamie on a plane. I'll send you both up on a crop duster. 
and then you each wing walk. Does it have to be a crop duster? Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind having Jamie on a plane with me. Really? Yeah. That I that I would actually feel much better about. But it can't be a crop duster. Well, what do you want to go up? You got to go up in a two seater. I wouldn't go up in a two seater. Don't worry, Fez is going to be on the wing. There's, even taking off. There's only two of us. There's no room for a pilot in a two seater. I think it's automatic. I have a little kid with a wire holding on to it, swinging around Central Park. You can't trust those kids. Here's uh, one buff girl. One buff girl, you're on a Fez. Hey, boys. Hey. I just wanted to say that you guys are lucky to have Jamie there because she's one of the hottest chicks on Pal Talk. And I wanted to wish her a special one year anniversary. Thank wow. you. One year anniversary on Pal Talk? Yes. Why didn't we. Had such anniversaries. Yeah, Pal Talk's a, a tight knit group. You know, I had no idea. We've got an anniversary coming up. Uh, you got a big party planned? Actually, I'm putting together a DVD, and we're going to do a release party with all the pictures from the last year of all the events we've been to. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Very nice. You going to top it off by getting raped by Frenchie? <laughs> God, yeah, probably. Yeah. A year from now, yeah, everyone I... will gather in Dave's <laughs> kitchen. I don't get it. Too Big small. A will be there. You do too. Big A! Big A! Well, the stars are coming out tonight, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, for the DVD release party of Pal Talk. Hey, isn't that Big A? Getting out of. It looks like he's straight from Atlantic City. Well, here comes Fez riding along on an old four wheel bicycle. Too bad, Fezzy. Why would I be on a four wheel bicycle? <laughs> Something with training wheels. wheels. <laughs> Cheap, Big A. Cheap. That's why, Big A. Uh oh, is that the uh, chicken? <laughs> is that any the chicken? It's the chicken from Hiroshima. <laughs> That's another joke I didn't get, Fez. <laughs> well, his, his two impressions today have been the chicken and Hiroshima after they were bombed. I did get it. Just I was just pointing out. I know no one else did. I know <laughs> no one else got that bit. Because first of all, no one even remembers the Eddie. If I can remark, That's already shit can. <laughs> All right, so uh, where's this big party going to be? Where's we the haven't one? decided yet. Yeah. I would love to finally get invited to a party. I haven't been invited to one party this year. You haven't? Mm -mm. Yes, you have. I know uh, Dave goes to all of them. Dave just shows up. We don't have oh, I just oh, yeah. Up. Never invited. Well, I don't think he's really invited. I think he just shows up. He hears about it and shows up. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of girls on this pal talk, though, huh? Mm -hmm. Pal talk is great. Yeah? And they're almost all attractive. <laughs> almost all. Why would you say almost not. all? No, come on. Let's be. I mean, no, but I mean, the ratio is far better than like regular Earth. Like I'm saying, like regular Earth is probably <laughs> as opposed 40, to Pal Talk Earth. Whatever, fifty, fifty, or forty percent of the chicks are good looking on Pal Talk. It seems like it's maybe ninety percent. That's a phenomenal ratio when you think about it. And how about the guys? You know, I've got a lot of comment about that, Mister B. But maybe, you know, 60%. There's a couple good-looking guys. Like, you have No Code and you have Octane. They're all good-looking guys. And Mike Nice. Oh, all right. I guess. I don't know what it means. Sounds like we started a... <laughs> Uh-oh! Razzle-dazzle. Here comes it's Eddie! It's boring gossip with Eastside <laughs> Dave. All the girls like Mike Nice. I didn't hear Irish Alki in that list. Ooh, he's on the outs. Pot belly since the baby. This the, the this the brand a brand new voice you've uh, brought us because it's not the one you did earlier. I By the way, Earl, when I lean up doing a bad goddamn interview, and I see you yawn after you did the booking, it makes me want to choke you out. I, I don't even remember. I swear to God, right now, you are yawning. I, I honestly don't remember doing it, but if I did, I, I'm sorry. It was just a dumb thing to do. No, it was the correct thing to do. I l actually laid down myself. All right, one buff girl. I'll see you at the big one-year anniversary party. All right, sounds good. All right, bye. Why don't we do this? If I can't make it, I'll just put a Pal Talk camera on your head, Dave, <laughs> and you can carry around a TV, and it'll be like I'm there. All right, that would be awesome. I'll use my Pal Talk camera. To Are you going to let your uh, your girlfriend go on Pal Talk? I've tried to get her on uh, last night, but she wouldn't go on. Where does she go? Because there's not a lot of room in she that kitchen. <laughs> she locked herself in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, basically the whole reason why it's in my kitchen is because my kit. I basically my kitchen goes into my living room, and that's my whole apartment. And then I have a bedroom. Did you live in an apartment? <laughs> <laughs> apartment. Uh, here. Oh God, I think it's just. Uh, Rob, Rob, you're on Fez. Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah. 
Dave, come down to Morgantown and watch the game. I got an extra ticket for you. Oh, I would. I have to spend uh, this weekend uh, maybe going to uh, Solera's having a birthday to, uh, party. Oh, come on. We can save your Solera's birthday? Uh, night. It was on Thanksgiving, but because, you know, other people were with their family, she's going to have it, I believe, at Calico Jack's tomorrow. Let me look through my mail to see if I'm invited. Um, Anything? Nothing. Well, I'm inviting you, Mr. B. Do me a favor. Pal, talk camera on your head and I'll see you <laughs> So Solera's having a birthday. Tall James and Gwenny Pooh from RonFez.net are having birthdays. Twins. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're twins. And Al885 from Whackbag's having a birthday. Isn't Happy everyone birthday. going to have a birthday <laughs> sooner or later? I guess so, but everyone's having theirs this week. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, everybody. Even Al885. Well, I, I like to be nice on people's birthdays, Mr. B, even you know if they're him? from Whackbag. Is he somebody that's mean to you? No, he's not particularly me. Who's the meanest to you? Well, you got your uh, your Tony Bagels, and mm-hmm. you have your turtle. Starving. We got any Tony Bagels? No, no Tony Bagels. Shit. And the newest one is this Liddy Rules, who I, I uh, wrote back. I called him a douchebag on one of the listening threads. So oh, I'm a big fan of Liddy Rules. Big fan. I like his ideas, but I don't like his viewpoint concerning myself. What ideas do you like? What philosophies of his? I, he's written some emails and stuff. I like so him because he's one of the people uh, who's uh, done Ron's line of the day. And I'm a big fan of Ron's line of the day. Matter of fact, it's the only thing on the internet I've ever enjoyed. Oh, yeah. I go there all the time. Yeah? They represent you well, I think. Why don't you do this? Try to have your own line one day. Okay. Just one day, Dave gets off a line. Or Eddie, your other character that you play. I got a joke. You got it. I want to hear it. Okay. What's the proper name for a shish kebab? I don't know what. Shishka Robert. <laughs> That's my line. That's the line. Ah! Excuse me. Cowbell. Uh, ouch. Yeah, that was too close. Uh. You know, with the extra chairs here, <laughs> yeah. you really, you were a little too close. The elbow, though. Another yeah, elbow always, shot. Yeah, always the elbow. Uh-oh, children in the background. It must be Mikey boy. <laughs> hey, guys. It, uh, it just occurred to me that uh, Fez, Jamie, and Big A at Atlantic City is going to look kind of like the dinner theater version of Rain Man. Whoa! Face! 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 face. That is true! I'll be playing the Tom Cruise part. Uh, mm-hmm. Big yeah. A would be Tom Cruise. Yeah. Why would Big A be Tom Cruise? He's our cool friend. And he's a Scientologist. <laughs> I had no idea. Mikey boy, what's been happening to you? Uh, you? You seem like that wife of yours never helps out with the kids, huh? Uh, she's here right now. We just have, I'm at home and kids at home too. So by she's here she's up. napping while you got a kid in each hand. Yeah, yeah, sometimes nursing sometimes. them in your male breasts, <laughs> trying to do the best she can. Yeah, she left me for a week too. That was kind of hard. Where did she go? California. Really? Yeah. Who did she go with? Uh, she, her dance company. She's just mm. out there performing, so I got kids up with kids for a week. Wow. And she came yeah. back, right? She did come back. See? Slow and steady keeps the gal, my friend. <laughs> Slow and steady. Uh, Mikey Boy, Earl's going to get a hold of you. He needs some help with something. Okay. He doesn't know how to produce the show, and he needs your help. All right. No problem. You're the best, Mikey. Thanks a lot, guys. Ronfez.net, Fezzy. They always have all the great downloads that we need. Yeah. And Mikey Boy's taking care of all that at Ronfez.net. Takes care of everything. Then I think he's got two other guys that somehow ride in his cold tails. And RalphFez.net has a Christmas party. Shall remember that. Why haven't I heard about this? Well, I'd like to be just invited to one party. Well, it's December 16th, Saturday. Cal- it's kind of late for a Christmas party, isn't it? No, I think that's right on time. Calico Jacks, 42nd and 2nd. Go there. Starts at 9, 9 p.m. Isn't that the same place Solaris party is? I yeah. believe it is. <laughs> Do you know how many bars are in New York and we keep going back to the same ones? There's just one address in Manhattan, I guess. Uh, Chris, you're on Fez. Hey, guys, what's going on? Hey, man. Hey, I already know what uh, today's line of the day is going to be. What's that? It's going to be... Big A! Big A! You ever notice you never get tired of that bit? I do. I get exhausted from it. Since when? 
Always. I've never cared for that bit, Ron. I thought I saw you jumping up and down. Big A. Never. Big A, big a hug. I Sweetie. don't put my thumbs up like everyone else does. I don't do any of that. Oh, yeah. We should get pictures of when Big A always has his thumbs up because <laughs> they're going in each different direction. <laughs> and then he tilts his head back. He's adorable. I don't see it. What about your weekend, Fez? You got anything planned? Hmm? I know um, you got invited out this week or next week to dinner with uh, Al Duke's fan and Randy. They're having a uh, birthday. Oh, yeah, the amazing Randy's having her birthday party. What do you think? So, um, I don't know. There's dinner, like, before the birthday party. I don't know if I can make both things. Yeah. But, I, I yeah, I would like, I guess, to stop by the birthday party. All right, so it's a whole new character for you. Uh, Terrence, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Ronnie, you sound like a million bucks, buddy. You don't want to feel hey, like a million I'll, bucks today. You should, you should be. Well, good deal. Hey, how cool is it that I can get parts for my pickup truck from Big A Auto Parts? <laughs> Big A! Honk, honk, Big A! Uh-oh, is that a truck coming by? Honk, Big A! Oh, it's just Eddie. <laughs> the horn for the auto parts store. Big A! <laughs> That's Ampco. That's not Big A Auto Parts. No. I'm just swinging the cowbell around like I'm going to hit him with it. No, big A. You want to do a thing where um, at the Christmas party, throw a cowbell and knock uh, Dave down with well, yourself a drink? Yeah, I would love Wouldn't to that do that. Would that be fun? Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. Can I wear a cup? No. Oh. I, as a matter of fact, I want your balls out. <laughs> I want your balls out and paint it gold because if anybody not. <laughs> well, it is Christmas. <laughs> sure. I like the gold idea, but exposed like that. It's a, a little too chilly during Christmas time. Bingo, you're on running Fez. Hey, I love Big A, but what happened to Sheepy? Sheepy, uh, I think he's doing here next week, right, uh, Earl? Yeah, he's coming in next uh, Friday, I believe. Kind of hey. come, come and come in and co-host and do the whole deal. Mm -hmm. You make everything sound so exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Ron. I'm barely holding together. I you really, mean for why? What's going on? No, I can't sleep. I'm just having trouble sleeping. Because? No, I mean, this has been going over a week. I've been at home. Because? Not, it's not even. There's a mental patient at your house. <laughs> no, there is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't even because of that. This goes back to last Friday. But I've just been averaging, like, less than four hours of sleep. So the show should stop for your personal problems. No, not at all. I'm just trying to avoid... <laughs> Doing what I'm doing now, which is stopping the show. Earl had this crazy thing the other afternoon after the show. Uh, intern candidates were coming in for the next semester, and Earl was supposed to be interviewing them. Mm -hmm. At one point, Dave gets a phone call from Earl, whose Earl is supposed to be in the building getting ready to interview these people. He had to go running into Central Park to get <laughs> some air. <laughs> He went absolutely nuts and went running into the park while someone is waiting here to interview yeah. with him. What happened, Fainty? No, I'm just like, I, I, part of this has been like the really bad headaches. I've been having these incredibly bad headaches. When you, I, is it because you don't have the Mr. Perfect gimmick going? No, not and at all. you're back to earth, you've leveled back down to being I, all again? It's funny, I can't explain it because I've never felt if I was better ever. here and I had the interview with you, I would slide down a rope on the outside of this <laughs> building to get away. And not only would I not want to work in radio, I wouldn't even want to listen to radio, thinking that maybe one day I would become Earl. I, I just can't explain it because I've Why did you have the intern candidate run through Central Park and try to find <laughs> Earl? And if you can, you get the gig. There's air everywhere. Why did you have to run into Central Park? Well, I was in, I was in the building all day. I just needed some air. That's the, all. Uh, the interview goes pretty well for the interns because it's 20 minutes of Earl talking about, like, Scott Muni and... How he started and as that's an a big how he started crap. as an intern and look at, at where Earl is now. Oh, I, <laughs> that is absolutely what he does, Mister B. No, what I tell I, what I tell the interns is, this is what I tell them. I'm like, I want radio. <laughs> what is it? No, I I've told every intern I'm like, hey, I, I, I tell them what was told me. You basically you get out of it what you put into it, and as far as effort and as far as oh, why don't you give Big A advice, cliche? First of all, you've been in this business so long, you showed up in a ho horse and buggy. It's time <laughs> to update the pitch. Hey, Ron, how long do you think it is before I get control of the public file if I'm moving up by Earl? Oh! Whoa. Whoa. Face, face, face! We'll not hear any back talk from the subordinates. 
Now, uh, so you've sat in on these, Dave? Yeah, I know. I go to every one. I try and ask real questions. You know, what are your hours? And, you know, do you like the Ron Fez show, this or that? Do you like getting water for people? <laughs> Uh, do you like being told to go get an egg sandwich at 2 o'clock? Yeah, but I try to keep it you know, on them and then ask them a question let them respond. Not do a 15-minute essay of... No, how, there's things that we have to... what I learned at WNEW. That is not true, Dave. I mean, you should sit in when we have interviews on Fridays. Dave... His lips are getting so dry and so sweat, he cannot get out of the building fast enough. You He's know like, what it's, it's like to suffer from the DT, bro. <laughs> it's not that. It's because... Yeah, like, yeah, 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 come on. Okay, let's go. Let's it, keep this moving. It's, no. him, uh, it's because... Does anybody else see an elephant in here? <laughs> go on, sweet liquor, stop the pain. I need that sweet brown juice. No, it's only because on Friday... I've you can't get week. out of here no, fast enough. because I've heard a week... Of black girls mumbo jumbo during the interview that right. I can't take black it anymore. People are so scared of black. Why mumbo jumbo? I can't take it uh, anymore. What's the problem, I can't Kramer? Take another Scotso story. When you want a Scotch story <laughs> instead. Yes. Anything. He is just so. You can. I mean, his leg is shaking. He is so. Why jittery. do you got to stay there and talk to interns, Dave? Go out and drink. Because I'm the one who deals with the most. And this semester, I thought. What I, has to be talked about? Well, no, I want I want to choose the right person. I, I want someone, I want myself to be involved during the choice process. Why does it matter? Look at that goof Frankenberry we had all semester. Did any of you take an interest in that retard? No, that's why Yesterday, I'm Yesterday, that fucker winked at me. <laughs> <laughs> why? I don't know. <laughs> I'm walking by. He's sitting at a computer. He just gives me a wink. I go, what are you doing, kid? We don't fucking play those games here. <laughs> I think he's sweet on you. Eh, maybe he is. Keep it to yourself, <laughs> like Bronx Johnny does. Am I right, Johnny, when I bring this up? <laughs> yeah. He's a winker, this guy. <laughs> what the hell is he winking about? He's always scratching. You ever notice yeah. that? Yeah. And yeah. is that from the in-depth interviews <laughs> that the best and the brightest was selected? I don't know. He somehow scraped through. but He's doing fine. You can't do bad or good at that job. No, you can do you can, but you you can be better than others. You know, if you really wanted these help, these kids, you would tell them to go back and major in anything else. <laughs> but Frankenberry did midway through this semester. He changed from communication into um, accounting. He switched majors because of this radio show. Did you just say accounting? Is that one of your <laughs> Irish friends you grew up with? You know the accounting family, don't you? Accounting. He switched. He's 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 gonna work on numbers rather than airtime. He's counting the winks that get returned to him around here. What do you think that was a good line? <laughs> that was a good line. How? He's working on numbers rather than airtime. I thought that was gonna be. I well, thought that was gonna get, get big pop and everyone how? was gonna. Well, cause it's funny. It, what be, part is funny? The airtime part, I would say, it was was good, but uh, no pop apparently, <laughs> judging from the silence here. I mean, I'm looking at everybody. Nobody gets this. It's not a joke. There's no turn of a phrase. All right. I tried. It was just literal statement is all it was. <laughs> Airtime. Yeah, that Frankenberry, he uh, wears shoes <laughs> on his feet. Nothing, huh? <laughs> Nobody? Nothing? Okay. You've got to be a fucking peanut brain to think that you're going to get a pop with that. I thought I thought at least flight benefits, but I guess not, huh? Yeah. What part was funny? The airtime part. He's working on numbers rather than airtime. Oh, you mean it's funny in a 1927 <laughs> type of way there? Ah, huh, paper boy? Sorry. Hey, did you hear the news, everybody? He's working on numbers, not airtime anymore. See? Well. Oh, and Lindbergh has landed. Lindbergh has landed. You got to picture him in a Keystone cop uniform to make it look funny. Oddly enough, I did. <laughs> I actually had that in my head, and I still didn't laugh. So when are we done, and you'll find out your new interns. And then you can start drinking. Why are you looking at Earl if you're involved I in know. this? I uh, know. Uh, first week of January. Yeah. January 7th, I believe. So and you're done interviewing people? Yeah, we're done interviewing people. You'll start drinking right after the show today? I would like that, but you know, I no, I I'm going to be responsible. There's a couple things I have to tie up. Girl, <laughs> no, dog, just errands I have to run. You know, there's some laundry that needs to be picked up. Things of that nature. 
Diana, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, tell Dave this, that he shouldn't talk shit if he doesn't know what he's talking about. Whenever um, Frank and Barry or whatever his name is worked for Opie and Anthony, he agreed to come and work for you guys, and he said that he had switched his major before, way before you guys' show. That's true. I, I didn't re- remember. He talked that. about it on the radio. Yeah, but he, he did. Didn't talk about he told it. Told us about that about up front. His, his parents, parents made, him. made him. Well, then he lied to yeah. me. Because at the beginning, I thought he said he was a communication major. Ethan, you're on Run Fez. He was. Then his parents said. Hey, uh, Tub Dave is a babbling simp because uh, Frankenberry changed his major because his parents were paying for it. Right. Dave, Ethan wanted me to tell you you're a babbling simp. Well, I don't what know is what a simp exactly? is. But... <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, he's an economics major. Oh, right. Whatever. They're both numbers oriented. Economics, accounting, you know what I'm saying? You need them both to, uh... To what? <laughs> you need them both to, you know, get your, your priorities in check, to pay off your bills. They they both are the the bed of finance, in my opinion. I understand you got your own... Uh... <laughs> hey. Yeah. What's wrong? Why don't you show Fezzi your debit card you were bragging about? <laughs> <laughs> Show well, him the debit card that you were bragging he knows, about. So you know <laughs> something about economics yourself, yeah. eh, Dave? <laughs> He's seen it. Yeah. He's seen me take it out of McFadden's. His father had to co-sign <laughs> for a debit card. <laughs> <laughs> he had to co-sign for the same. That, yes, that is money in his bank. The other day, my uh, debit card was out of money. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, we, we don't get paid till the 30th. <laughs> Shit. That's why you can't have a credit card, because <laughs> you cannot follow any kind of restraint. But I intentionally did that. That's why right. I didn't get a credit card, because I know. Wait a minute. Was it up to you or your mom? No, it was – actually, it was up to the credit people, because I had bad credit already. When? You said your parents wouldn't let you have a credit card. Yes, but I was – I think I was in part of the decision, and I did have bad credit, because – Remember when you used to, like, write to Columbia and you could get eight CDs for a penny? I used to write to Columbia, but it was for something else. <laughs> and you would get eight CDs for a penny or something like that, but then they lure you in, and you're supposed to pay for those CDs or something. And I never paid. And so then, you can't buy a house because you didn't buy, pay off an old Born in the Fucking USA album years ago. Yeah, that's been haunting me ever since. You got nothing else that you fucked up with? I mean, it's mainly my – that is my main thing, I think. And I refused to pay um, this plumbing bill at my old apartment when I was living in Long Branch. But that was because, and I'll still, I'm not going to pay it, even if there's a, an arrest warrant for me in New Jersey. It's not my apartment. So if the toilet spits back shit on me, if it gets backed up, why should I pay for it? Because you, you held that shit for a week, and you fucking <laughs> destroyed that thing. No, the landlord should pay that bill, and I'm not going to pay it. Thanks. You're the one eating all the cheese. Ken, you're on Run Fez. Actually, it's Kent Ron, but you know what? I, I gotta say, Dave, you are an ass. You are just an ass. Is this Kent, the movie guy? Yeah, you oh. banned me for no friggin' reason on FBA. You are a three weeks, pal. Hungry ass. Three you weeks off. Ban me. What happened? What? Enjoy the vacation, Ron. Kent, the movie guy, violated the East Side Dave clause. No smack oh, talk about Oh, the East Side Dave East. clause. Ooh. Yeah. That's what you did. He called. He called me an ass. Mm-hmm. Three weeks. And Jay, I didn't ban you forever. Consider yourself lucky. Death Metal Moe's banned permanently. You're banned for 21 days. Enjoy the vacation. I'll see you in three weeks, pal. Yeah, will you? You sure about that? Watch. Just watch, Dave. You are such a power hungry ass, dude. All I said was, you don't speak for me. That's all I said. You just bought yourself you another week. Oh, uh, no. Oh, jeez. Keep Not it going. Lord. Stop this Lord. madness. By the way, Kent, I got over 37 emails supporting my banning of you. That would and, be 38, oh, did you then. Really, did you? Check out, <laughs> check out the thread on FBA with all the people, including Schnitty and Dugout Doug, the owner of FBA, says, thank God, Kent's been banned. Uh, dude, you have no idea what's going on in the background. It is such a funny joke, and you have no idea. What's the funny joke? I really don't. I, I would blow up the spot, but you know what? That's not my job. I'll let Dave find out on his own. I don't know. There is no like, funny joke. I spoke with yeah, Doug out there is, today. dude, and you are the punchline. You really are. You just have fine you, for me. no clue. Punchline's the no best part of the joke. <laughs> Great, Dave. You got it. 
Uh, so you're the punchline. Punchline is bad. Is this not really a They real? don't like you. They're just using you. Is Abs- that, no. Is that the whole thing, Kent? I, I'm not going to say it. Is this not, not a real point. moderatorship? Is this going to end up with him at the prom with blood all over his uh, self? He's not the prom queen after all, but someone that they pour pig's blood on? I ain't no carry. I'm telling you right now, I am a real mod. Otherwise, I couldn't have banned Kent. And, Kent, another week. Call up again. It's going to be another week. One more call, you're banned for life. Wow. For life. I run a, uh, a tough little shop there. I absolutely do. Now, I'll ban you, too. Jamie, do you belong in FBA? Now, uh, is Dave just a big joke there, and he's not really considered? I didn't hear anything about it. Yeah. Ah, see? But I can tell you that uh, Kent, the movie guy, is really low in the popularity ranks on Pal Talk. Mm-hmm. No one likes him on Pal not Talk. Really. Yeah. See? I did FBA and the whole internet world a favor by ridding the world of Kent, the movie yeah, guy. Yeah, whatever you did, fine, thanks. What thanks. was he doing on uh, Pal Talk? He's just a mic whore. He talks too much. I see. Mic whore. That's why I gotta be careful when I get on there, Fez. Uh huh. Pick my spots. Wait. No. Hit him with a great line. Pull back again. Not in there going. Well, when I started in radio, <laughs> it was W N W. Who walks in? Scatzo. Earl, I don't want your bore ass in these kids. I only give them uh, guidelines on what's going on. Are you Mike Whore? I have to out. There's certain things that we just have. To, I have to cover in the interview. So, Muni? No, no <laughs> nothing at all. No, I mean, just as far as, you know, what certain, obviously the requirements involved. And, I mean, it's a long it's long and it's boring, and, but it's necessary. Well, before you know it, 78 became 33 and a third, <laughs> and then cassette, and on to CD. Time kept on turning. And the hits were changing, too. Dave, so you're a power-hungry guy on there, huh? No, I mean, there, I've banned very few people. Kent the Movie Guy is one of them. I stand by my banning. When you hear that song, it only means one thing. Big A! It does not mean that. Okay. means we're at the end of the program. Jam ha- Jamie, have a lovely uh, getaway weekend with Big A. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Obviously, every lady out there uh, wants to uh, be you right now. You're living the life. Yeah, I got a date set up with Fez, and I'm going out with Big A. Yeah, you are going to be taking Fez up on a crop duster. Not a crop duster. <laughs> and holding onto his belt loop as he wing walks. <laughs> oh, God. All right, it gives me the creeps. Do not slip. You'll blow right off that thing. I know. Imagine falling through the clouds and looking straight down as you're heading towards Earth. And knowing you can't do anything about it. The problem is, I can totally imagine that. What to do if that happens? If you ever fall out of a plane, act like you're rowing a boat, and everybody will think it's that Wizard of Oz scene. <laughs> so just act like, oh, I'm rowing a boat, wave and tip your hat, and then keep on rowing. And everybody will think you're cool. That's all I could do. Jamie, enjoy your weekend. Thanks Thank for you. stopping by. It was a pleasure meeting you. You too. Eddie, you're always the best. Earl, best of luck through the latest breakdown. <laughs> I'll, I'll be fine, I hope. We're back here Monday? Monday, right no, after o and No kind of a long weekend? I don't believe so. Now, o and are going to be in Florida, but they still doing the XM show? Uh, yes. Technology, huh? The wonders of technology? The wonders of technology, yes. You can't beat it. Live from West Palm. It's my favorite part of the show right here. Uh, that's the end of my show. Donk. <laughs>